Hello, hello everyone. Good morning. How are you today? Today we're at pattern-collections.com, which is where we always are. Um, it's Monday, so I'm going to remind you that if you want to um, help this website stay uh, free and um, open to everyone, if you have an extra couple of bucks, please uh, hit that PayPal donate button and... <clears throat> There'll be options to do five, ten, twenty dollars, or if you only have a dollar, type in the other amount, put in a dollar, send it to you know via PayPal. Um, you can make it a monthly donation. <clears throat> It'll just automatically come out of your account. That would be awesome. Um, Ina has not asked me to do this. She doesn't know that I am doing it unless she watches my videos, but. Um, I think it's really important to continue to support people who are doing this on their own, out of their own pocket. She doesn't get any income from this. Um, and it's something that's keeping us all busy during this quarantine time. You're going to see this in May. And I was hoping we'd be done with this in April, but it sounds like we may be continuing through May, maybe even June. So... You know, if you're home and you're bored and you're using this website, please, please donate. We're going to go down here. I'm actually recording this on Easter weekend, so happy Easter to you. Um, but you won't see it until May 4th. Okay, so I'm decided to do barbed wire. It is a linear pattern. Nobody has done a video on it yet. Um, and you can embellish this, you know, like she used it as like a barbed wire fence in her um, sample, which is really cute. I'm just going to do it on a bookmark and make it like a, a ribbon pattern and just go straight down a bookmark. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make teardrop shapes spaced apart however far you want to space them apart with one going upward and one going downward <coughs> excuse me so we got upward downward upward downward okay next step is in between that we're going to make between each set so not between each one but between each pair so you know make sure you're doing an even number um we're going to, up here, we're going to make some lumpty bumps. And the first one's going to go like that. So, like that. And some lumpty bumps. You don't have to do it with the lumpty bumps. You can just um, do the next one right next to it. But if you want to make sure that you have that lumpty bump, do add that. And then, as you can see, the next step is then to continue this around to there. And then the next step is then to continue that to there and that to there and so forth. So you could kind of combine this step all as one thing. You could just go here and then you could just draw this one and then this one. And then this one, so that they're coming around. So they look like little bean pods or shape like that, right? Then the next one is to do that twisty bit in between these two. So from here, we're going to come from the bottom here to kind of like midway here. And then like that, all the way. Uh... This one's going upward, and then this one's going the other way. Okay. And then we go the other direction behind. Okay. So that it makes that twist. And then that's what you, and then at the ends you can just kind of have them end however you want them to end. And then you can shade. So, um... Yeah, I'm just going to do a little bookmark. Excuse me, let me get a drink. 
turn on my light. I'm going to um, <clears throat> decide where I want that pattern to go. Kind of like that. <clears throat> Goodness sakes, I don't know what the frog in my voice is today. Of course, I haven't talked much this morning, so usually as you speak, that all clears up. And in order to kind of make it balanced, I don't usually do this, but I think I'm going to do like a pair here. Okay, and then I'm going to do a pair here and a pair here like that. Hmm. Nope. I wanna I wanna space these out better. Okay, if this is the middle approximately, then I want one there and one here. And then a big space, and then I want one here and one here and one here. And one here. Okay, that's better. That's spaced better. Okay. <clears throat> now for an actual pen. <coughs> Goodness sakes. Okay. So let's remember that we need to do one right side up, the next one upside down. So let's do a teardroppy shape that and then I'm going to do all of these this way and then I'm going to turn it around and then that way I'm kind of consistent with my teardroppy shape and they're right side up and upside down. Right? Right. <laughs> then... We're going to do those kind of lumpy bumps. Like that. You guys are kind of far away. Let me scoot you in. down and around like this and down and around like that and like this and like that and then kind of like that and then the same here I didn't do my lumpy bumps Like that. Let's do some lumpy bumps. And then that one comes like this, and that one goes around like that. And like this, and like this, and like this. It's pretty simple, right? <clears throat> Super easy. I like. <coughs> what is with my cough? I don't like that I'm getting a cough, but it is also allergy season. The plants are in bloom all around me. We have had a boatload of rain. And then today the sun has come out and flowers are blooming. And I do have some uh, major allergies. So and I didn't take any kind of allergy medication this morning, which I probably should have done. Perhaps... Between drawings here, I will do so. So we'll want from there up, and then from up here. Down. Like that, and then the other way.
just like that. It's as simple as that. And then at this end, we can kind of just do like this and kind of like an end to it. Something like that. And now we can just uh, do a little shading. Erase all my marks. I'm going to sign it somewhere. Call that barbed wire, and then we're just going to do a little bit of shading. It's going to be a quick and easy one today as a warm up for myself. My husband was so sweet, just to let you know, he was super sweet and Every um, major holiday, Easter, uh, Christmas, Valentine's Day, my birthday, um, I usually get some C's candy, my very favorite butterscotch squares. Um, if you're not in California, you might not know what C's candy is, but it's a local, it's a, it's a chain, but it's, a, it's mostly local to California, I think. I don't know if they have outlets anywhere else, but my favorite candy and uh, he always gets me some but with this whole pandemic thing uh, you know they've been closed and they closed their factory and they closed their online orders and so he couldn't get me any for Easter so he tried his best to make me just the center of a butterscotch square um, because we didn't have any chocolate to dip it in and that was fine um, and, and so it kind of looks like fudge. It's very brown sugary. And he did an awesome job. It doesn't taste the same. But it's still very good. So I brought myself a piece to eat between my drawings here today. While I... While I rest between videos. And, um, yeah, awesome fellow. He is my, my rock. I couldn't do everything I do without him. I really couldn't. So, I've already planned out this week and next week. This week we're going to do this one, barbed wire. Uh, then we're going to do lace weave and chameleon for the rest of this week. Next week. We're going to be working on some uh, grid patterns and um, some challenges may ensue. So be prepared for that. I'm going to probably go for some warped grids because I find them more challenging for me. And if I put it on a warped grid, I don't have to keep a straight line. I can be wonky. Just doing a little bit of shading right in the hair and then I'll come back with the with the white and give it a little zing, right? Always always with the zing, a little pop of of uh, highlights. Which is why I've changed to drawing on colored paper. I used to do all my my work on the white paper, but I discovered the color papers and I really enjoy them because I can put the highlight with the white pencil, which I find to be just oh so exciting and makes my drawings pop. Now I've, I've, had a conversation lately online with uh, someone who was very, very disheartened about their own work and that they were embarrassed to show it. They felt like it was 
um, not good, that they weren't um, professional like everybody else in the group. I want to reassure you that, you know, you, you're probably harder on yourself than uh, others would be. That um, and that it's okay to be uh, a beginner. It's okay to not have straight lines. If you really looked up close to mine, I mean, really studied them, my lines aren't straight. They're not perfect. They're not aligned exactly right. What you have to do is change your mindset. And I know it's difficult to do, but it has to be okay with you. You have to get it in your head that it's okay to not be perfect. That it's okay to just enjoy the process. For me, it's the it's the drawing that's the it's the act of drawing that is most important, not the drawing that results from it. The drawing itself is just a drawing to me. I mean, it, it's it's great. It looks good. I like it, but it's just a drawing. The important thing for me is the mental and spiritual and uh, renewing that happens within my body while I'm drawing. That is more important to me than the drawing itself. So um, if you're struggling with that, I, I'm thinking of once again trying a uh, non-dominant hand drawing, but I am I may have to change my my setup so that you can see let me let me back out a little bit i don't know if you'd be able to see what i'm drawing i guess you could i'm gonna i'm probably gonna block it with my hand no matter what i do as a non-dominant hand drawing i don't know if i can move my desk i don't think i can I don't think I can get it so that I'm my camera is on my left because of the way this desk is. It's up against the wall. So I can't. My camera has to be here. I can't put it over there. There's a wall over there. So not sure how I'm going to do that, but I, I really want to work on maybe doing some non-dominant hand drawings. That would be for me left-handed. For you might be right-handed. Um, but that would show maybe somebody who is having uh, muscle problems or hand problems that you don't have to be perfect with your drawing. What you have to do is enjoy the process. I asked that person if they enjoyed the process. They said, yes, they were enjoying drawing. I said, well, that's the point. The point of it is not to have a perfect drawing at the end. The point of it is to enjoy drawing. That's the point. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the drawing process. And if your stuff isn't perfect, that's okay. It really doesn't have to be. Mine isn't. You guys might think it is, but it's not. It really isn't. The only difference maybe between you and me is that I draw a lot. And I have built up muscle memory. You have to have muscle memory. And I have built up a lot of muscle memory, but only in my right hand. My left hand has no muscle memory other than maybe holding onto the paper and turning it. It has no muscle memory for holding a pen and making the moves with the pen. That feels really awkward. So you just need to practice and get more muscle memory. And I really should do that. I, I, said a long time ago that I was going to do that and then I didn't because it was uncomfortable and awkward and I didn't feel right and it made me discouraged and so I really need to do that so we'll see maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a a series of of my left-handed journey I wonder if I if I stand over here do you think I could well maybe if I drew this way Stick my elbow up under my tripod. That might work. You guys could probably still see 
the end of my pen. We can try that. Yeah, we could try that. Okay, I'm thinking about it. I made you a series sometime of left-handed drawings, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, you guys, especially if I end up off work or quarantined or something, who knows, I've got vacation supposedly coming up at the end of May. We were supposed to go to a uh, wedding, which has now been postponed. So maybe when I'm on vacation, I'll take some time during my vacation to do some lefty drawings. That's possible. All right, you guys have a great day. I've just been blathering. I've really been done for quite some time. And uh, go out and do something nice for someone today. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.